Hello everybody, it's Zap Dunga 2 and I'm here to perform a trick for you. This trick was originally performed on Penn and Teller's Fool Us by a very young and very talented magician called Sanji Vinod. Okay, and I'm not a magician, but I'm going to try and duplicate uh, what he did. Okay, it starts off like this. Something that has always intrigued me is silent letters. In the English language, there are words that have silent letters in them. The letters are in the word, but we do not pronounce them. For example, okay, I wrote down some letters. Okay, look at the word island. Okay, the word S, the letter S is in it. Okay, right here. But we don't pronounce it. We don't say Island. Okay. Look at the word "ku" over here. C O U P. We say it "ku." We don't say "coop." We don't pronounce the word "p." And look at this word over here. Y. This one's really crazy because all we really do is pronounce the Y at the end. We don't pronounce the W or the H. But my favorite of these words with silent letters in them is right here in the middle. Q. Q U E U E. Really, all we pronounce is the Q. We do not pronounce the U, the E, the U, and the E. The, those letters just disappear. They're silent. So this trick is going to be my ode to the word Kuwewe. <laughs> Q-U-E-U-E. Okay? And even more, even more uh, intriguing than the English language that has silent letters that just disappear is magic, okay? So I'm going to put this black board on the side and I'm going to do magic by creating a card. Now on the TV show Penn and Teller, Sanjeev asked Teller for a suit and he asked Penn for a number. Okay, but I don't have anybody here. So I'm going to take an ordinary deck of bicycle playing cards. Okay, they're all different. Okay, and I'm going to mix them up. And then I'm just going to choose a card at random. So this way, things should be fair and square. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the deck. And cut them a few times. And spread them out. And then just point any card and pull that out. That's going to be our chosen card, okay? Because, like I said in the show, Teller picked the suit and Penn picked the number. So in this case, we, I chose the six of hearts. That's going to be our key card, okay? So what I'm going to do is I have a very special deck of cards right here, okay? And on the backs of these cards are words with silent letters in them. For example, island. You know, we don't say island, okay? The S is silent, okay? They all have different words with silent letters in them. Look at sandwich, for example. We don't say sandwich. The D is quiet, okay? How about this one? Let's go to uh, bomb. Ba we don't say bomb, right? And if you also notice, if you also notice, the backs of all of these cards have the letter that's silent underlined, like here. Look at this word, debt. We don't say debt, right? So the B is underlined. That's important, okay? So, remember what this trick was? It was about our ode to um, the word Kueue, Q-U-E-U-E. So, like I said, the backs of these cards all have different words with silent letters in them. But only one of these cards, only one, has the word Kuwewe on the back. And I'm going to look for it right now. Let's see if we could find it. Listen, Salmon, Skew, Ghost, Love, White, Sign, Yes, No, Right. No, and look at this. There's Kuwewe. Okay, and I want you to see that it's the only card that says Kuwewe on the back of it. All the rest of the cards have di different words. Remember at the very beginning of the trick, we picked out a card at random. And that card was the Six of Hearts, okay? So, this is my ode to Kuwewe. The only card in the deck 
that had Kuwewe written on it was the Six of Hearts, okay? The Six of Hearts was the only card that had Kuwewe in it. All the others disappeared. All the other letters disappeared. And you know what? On all these other cards that had different words written on the back of them with silent letters, they all disappeared as well. Because the nothing is found on the other side of any of these cards. They're all blank. So this was my ode to the word Kuwewe. And I hope you liked it. But if you really want to see the master do it, I would watch Sanji Vino do it on Penn and Teller's Fool Us because he is a fantastic magician. Thank you from Zapdunga. I hope you enjoyed it.